Well, it's about half past one now, which means I really should have been finishing up my talk over in Vista, the co-working space, on taking care of the business of you. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, yesterday afternoon, uh, yesterday late afternoon, they cancelled it because they didn't have enough people um, signed up. And uh, though I'm disappointed to, to not do it, you know, I put a good bit of work into preparing this. Um, you know, I, I didn't, uh, I, by the time I, they told me, I was able to you know, not put the last two, three hours of work in, so I didn't quite get it across the line. Um, I don't, I feel disappointed that I didn't get a chance to, to finish it off and to get over there and to do it, because it's something that I love doing, obviously. Um, but, you know, I don't hold anybody responsible. It was just one of those things. Um, and perhaps the lesson to me is to really think very, very clearly um, about what it is I want to get out of any event that I do, um, paid or unpaid. Uh, you know, I do fewer unpaid events now anyway, but um, I'm sure that I will. And uh, I think it's really important. It's a good lesson for me to be very, very clear as to what my expectations are um, going into any sort of event like that. So, but as soon as I had that notification that it was cancelled, you know, I'm, I'm fairly robust in the sense that I can just park that, say, well, like, this is the situation, nothing I can do to change that right now. So um, take whatever lessons I can from it and, and move along. Um, which is what I've done. And uh, this morning I was at a, a careers day, um, well, sort of a careers event with the local lower school, so about year 11, which I think is 12, 13 year olds. And um, they had a, a bunch of um, grown ups, real, real people <laughs> like myself, who were working. And uh, we came in and we talked a little bit about what it is that we do. Well, their kids rather asked us questions in small groups. They asked us questions what do we do? What qualifications do we need? We always want to do that. And uh, you know, got me really thinking about my my job as a motivational speaker, and I kind of raised my eyebrows there and kind of used a bit of an ex, um, uh, accentuation on the word job because I never really think of it like that. But essentially, that's that's you now that's what I do. And I was it was the first time actually doing something with the school. I've done a few things in the past in my guise as personal trainer and boot camp coach or fitness expert, and, and that's normally how I'm I'm billed. That's normally what goes onto my little stickers or my name badge. And uh, today it was the first time that I've actually seen George Anderson, motivational speaker, um, well-being and performance coach. So that is exactly how I describe myself. And obviously that I must have at some point in the past told them that's what I, that's how I want you to describe me. Um, but it was, it was kind of interesting seeing that and, and being totally at ease and comfortable with that. I've struggled in the past really defining what I do and who, who I am and um, almost to the extent that I've I've pushed back against it because I don't want to box myself in to anything and um, I feel like this is such a big thing for me now to, to really go all in with the, the, the motivational speaking that it's it's you know I'm, I'm totally at ease with defining myself as being that although I always put the caveat in there and I will do now that uh, obviously I'm still doing other things as well and I think that I don't think that's unusual for a motivational speaker I think there's anybody who just goes out there saying, I don't want to be doing that, just going around on a circuit, giving the same talks. Um, I want to keep having these experiences. The only way I can do that is by the other work that I do. So the coaching, the online programs, the communities, everything else that I do. Um, so, But it also kind of really drew my attention back to the fact that, well, look, this is something that's super important to me for, for this year in particular and, and ongoing. But this year, I've sort of set myself this goal. I want to do 20 talks this year. Um, and uh, you know, we're into kind of middle end of March. I've, I've got a long way to go to get to that point. And I was even thinking twenty. Well, that's like, you know, I should really be shooting higher than that. Um, but I'm thinking, geez, you know, I'm gonna have to really do something different if I'm gonna hit twenty. I know I've got a lot of um, fingers and a lot of pies, and I've got a lot of balls in the air, a lot of plates spinning, and um, they're, they're completely the wrong analogies. I know. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I've got lots of different. Uh, uh, pies in the oven. There we go. There's a good analogy, <laughs> metaphor. Pie, pies in the oven. Lots of different things, kind of on the board, just waiting to come up. Um, but I made that mistake last year where I, I I kind of took my finger off the the, the pulse and I stopped pushing. I stopped pushing, and um, and then things really started to go the wrong way in the second half of the year with regards to the, the speaking and workplace wellbeing stuff. So I know that I need to. I'm doing it. I'm doing a lot of stuff right now. I feel like I'm really putting a lot into it, and there are things coming up. But the, there's more that I can do, um, and I got to really think very, very hard about all the other things that I could potentially push this to, um, to drive this, to 
um, to, to make sure that this happens. There's no, uh, you know, this, this has to happen this year. It's going to happen. Um, and you'll have complete belief and confidence. And if there's anything that you know I, I am good at, it's blind faith and confidence in myself. Um, but at the same time, I, I want more predictability and certainty. I want to know that actually I'm doing things that are going to legitimately going to end up with more inquiries, more people ask me about speaking. And at the moment, it feels like I'm, I'm, I'm really living off blind faith and, and confidence. Um, I never say that those, those are bad characteristics and I'll always have that. But at the same time, I do want to have that predictability. So big lesson for me really is to, is to again, shake things up. Look at what else can I do? What can I change? If something's not working in your life, then you change it. You, you make adjustments. You don't just keep doing the same thing in the hope that something magically changes one day. Um, because I've made that mistake many times, not just with this, but with all sorts of things. And I, it's just, it just doesn't work. And I see people doing it all the time as well. So this is one time I'm not going to make that mistake. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to be actively looking for, for new ways, things I can layer on top of all the other things that I'm doing. Uh, this Friday, I'm going to uh, my friend Jerry Duffy's speaker school, uh, which I, I meant to go to last year, kind of not really to kind of gain the, the skills as a, as a speaker, um, although I'm, I'm always ready to and, and willing to learn. I'm sure I will do, but more to kind of immerse myself in that environment uh, because I know that when I'm fully immersed, I'm out of my usual environment when I'm immersed in something, especially that's completely on, on track with what I'm, um, or in line rather with what I want to be doing, then you know, that's when I get more ideas. That's when I get the creativity going. That's when I make the connections internally and externally as well in this case. So you know, I'm not going to pin everything on that, but that's, that is something very positive that I'm looking at doing at the end of this week. It's on Friday over in Dublin. Um, so uh, yeah, I've, you know, Bottom line is I've got to I've got to keep on changing things. I've got to keep on changing my approach. Keep on um, changing the way I tell that story. And uh, in fact, that just reminded me of something else. This idea that I had a while ago of doing the um, yeah doing that. See, ideas are coming even now. Just talking about this stuff. So I love these videos. I love doing this. Anyway, I'm um, doing doing that. Uh, workplace well-being launch thing that I did a couple of years ago in London invited a lot of contacts along to I've spoken about this before um, I had the idea of doing it again I had a conversation with somebody yesterday who runs an organization that helps women in the at board level um, and uh, we talked about me coming in and doing something kind of a code a joint venture with her um, and some sort of uh, thing in London with her and that kind of made me I was talking to her about this as well so that's what made me um, bring it back up to the, the forefront of my mind and now doing this video um, that's good that's my logical next step that is what it is it's going to be early summer I'm going to um, I'm going to step on this I'm going to start thinking about what I can do what I need to do to make this happen and just get it done so thank you daily videos for once again being the momentum uh, the, the uh, impetus if you will to making me realize what it is that I need to do uh you're welcome. <laughs> Subscribe to these videos and I will be back again tomorrow with more updates, my adventures in the world of motivational speaking. <laughs> Bye for now.